What are the key reasons for optimism in 2019, Simon? So uh, the Midwine Investment Trust is a global equity fund, and we try to run it in a cautious manager. It's a long-only equity fund. Uh, so 2018, the year we're just coming to the end of, we were very worried that the US might overheat. Uh, we could see that US bond yields needed to go up because there was a, a ever-present uh, risk of inflation kicking in, and that, that was well commented on a year ago. Uh, and lo and behold, we've had a very high level of American growth all year, nearly 4% GDP growth, but actually inflation hasn't come through. Uh, so funnily enough, when we're looking towards 2019, what we find is, um, OK, the US economy is going to be growing more slowly. The risk of inflation, which we always have in mind, has been much less of a danger than we expected. Uh, bond yields haven't had to go up quite as much as some people feared, which normally puts pressure on all equity markets and equity valuations in all. Uh, and so we find ourselves with some of our growth stocks actually um, a year on, producing more cash flow. Uh, share prices are down on a year ago. And so obviously that's better value for money. Uh, that being said, the later you are in the cycle and, and with uh, very large capital gains out there um, uh, amongst our investors to protect, we're carrying on running a, a fairly cautious um, uh, attitude to an investment and a much more balanced fund that we've run for a few years just because the bull market is quite old and the total amount of government debt in the world, of course, is, is very, very large indeed. Uh, and one is seeing something of a slowdown in America, but really quite a bad slowdown in some emerging markets in Europe. So um, cautious optimism in some sectors. We try to punt those sectors down, concentrate the growth part of our portfolio on that. Um, but otherwise, it's a good year in our mind not to be too greedy and tr try to run a balanced fund. Okay, some cautious optimism there. Jean, what are your uh, views on optimism for 2019? Um, yeah, well, you might be surprised to hear that even though I run a UK mid-cap investment trust, um, I'm also feeling cautiously optimistic. Um, despite the barrage of negative political headlines, um, I think that we've been um, wise to really look at some of the data around things like UK consumer, um, which has keep, kept on spending. Um, and to try and um, look for the areas where they are spending um, and look for areas of market disruption, such as in restaurants, um, in high street retail, um, and look for investment opportunities there. Um, the UK market is historically cheap, um, and I think that's a reason to be cheerful as an opportunistic fund manager uh, looking for areas to invest in that might be underpriced. Um, so I think, you know, with next year we should get more clarity uh, in 2019 on the political situation, which will help sentiment. Um, and that should mean that some of the opportunities that we're taking now should bear fruit. Great. Well, UK is undervalued. Hopefully those opportunities will pay off next year. Peter, are there any reasons for optimism in 2019? Well, you're, you're quite right to ask the question because we are more defensively positioned than we have been uh, ever, actually, in the last 36 years. Um, but the element that I would uh, point to, uh, for some hope anyway, is that people have become very gloomy. So everybody now thinks there's going to be a recession next year in America. Um, the numbers, in fact, are absolutely fine. The PMIs suggest uh, quite powerful uh, momentum into that year. Um, and. The same thing in, in Europe. We are uh, looking at, um, obviously, we've had negative rate uh, of growth in large parts of Europe in the third quarter. Um, but the, it is unlikely that that will continue into the fourth. Um, and finally, markets have been very sensitive to tariffs. And who knows what Trump will do, um, but there must be some optimism uh, that he will end up in a situation where he feels he's won, in quotation marks and uh, then world trade might start to expand again.